imagine, if you will, a negotiating table, a dark room perhaps, nothing on the table but sheets of paper, glasses of water, no ice. The table is long and solid. On one side is President Xi of China, sitting smug in a bold red tie. Next to him is Putin, short and scowling, his frosty Siberian blues glaring ahead. The supreme leader of Iran walks into the room with Hamas political director Yahya Sinwar. They are whispering to each other in low tones with their translators, accents thick, stroking their shocks of unkempt facial hair. Last to arrive, of course, is Kim Jong-un of North Korea, brushing hamburger bun crumbs from his small mouth. They are all seated across from President Kamala Harris. Her vice president, Tim Walls, goes to wipe his brow with his trans flag handkerchief. He knocks over his glass of water. He apologizes. Minnesota nice even in moments like these, don't you know? Can you picture this scenario? Hopefully you will never have to, but it is nightmares like these that Americans must consider as they approach the ballot box in November, and as Iran takes measures to not only attack Israel, but potentially the United States. Iran, despite the left-wing dogma of the Biden-Harris administration, cannot be reasoned with, a fact Israel's Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu very much knows. Iran has vowed vengeance for the killing of Hamas political leaders. They were caught red-handed doing business with a Pakistani national in a plot allegedly to kill President Trump as revenge for Trump's elimination of top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. Hamas, at the same time, is doubling down in the wake of the loss of their political leader, appointing the very mastermind of the October 7th attacks. This is a clear message to the United States and to Israel that there will be no peace, and we should never expect it again from these guys. The Rubicon has been crossed. Iran is the number one supplier of terror in the Middle East. That's no international secret. The radical, repressionist republic is openly embraced by Russia and China. Iran has become a natural partner for China as they seek greater influence. Moscow is developing another North Korea-style pact with Tehran. They are already supplying Iran with weaponry, most recently aircraft. U.S. Secretary of State Tony Blinken labeled these countries of concern. Countries of concern. Tony Blinken and his passive efforts at state downplaying real threats are being felt by the world in live time. This summer, Russia and North Korea signed a NATO-style pact, a pact that if one is attacked, the other will rush to their aid. Uh, this was something that was always in place. Now it's been codified. Russia and China have grown closer, no surprise. China has given Russia an economic steroid boost in the face of worldwide sanctions. China is also supplying Putin with extra weapons. To any historically acute person, all of these developments are certainly alarming. These countries are far beyond concerning. Putin and Xi are emboldened. They seem not to care what the U.S. or Europe might do to break up their party. So how did we get here? How did we allow, in just four short years, a new axis of evil to form on our watch? that not only threatens our safety, but the safety of our allies, the safety of the entire world? The answer is unfortunate. The answer is President Biden has simply been over his head because his head does not work and has not for a while. His vice president, Kamala Harris, is now the Democratic nominee in his place. So her concerns are elsewhere. So our enemies are playing chess while Biden is playing retirement home checkers. And just because the old man has hung up the cape does not mean he is off the hook. It is a long way between now and January, and our enemies are gearing up to make every one of those months count. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.